How's it going, everybody? The long-awaited commentary for Jim's Ubers Open. It's happening right now. We're doing it right now. I'm going to go through just about every set, folks. Thank you so much, all the entrants. We've got 32 entrants. Couple of no-shows. That happens, you know, but I'm very pleased with the interest and everyone seems to be having fun playing some ubers that's what i wanted bringing some more attention to a very epic format folks it's very easy to get into you can throw together teams simple synergies but there's also a lot of room for creativity i'd recommend giving it a go i'll be hosting more tournaments in the future after this one open to feedback about the tournament as well from entrance you know i think next time we'll do double elimination I wanted to do single elimination the first for the first tournament, just keep it simple, because I've never hosted a tournament before, but double elimination I think is better. Give people more of a chance to play games. If they lose round one, you get to play another set. Maybe make a little run if you win in the losers bracket. I've also randomized the rounds each time. An Uber's gamer recommended that I do that, Mitana said that was a good idea. I think most Pokemon tournaments are like that. Like every round, you randomize the pairs. But if you guys would prefer a more traditional bracket, like tournament bracket system, especially if it's double a limb, that might make more sense. Let me know. Anyway, uh, this game was Techmark Gaming versus Slices of Bread 96. This was the first set of the tournament. And I recall this was a funny one. I watched it back... Back when it was posted. We've got a Latios calm minding in the face of an enemy Latios. And this is dangerous. He could get crit. He could get froze. But he's just going for it. He's going for the recovers. I'm pretty sure he's faster also. And there's the crit. If you keep recovering folks. That's the problem with calm minding up. You're going to get crit eventually. Every time you stay in and recover. You're risking a crit or a freeze. That's dangerous. And Latios thunders in the face of a Ho-Oh. Get an enormous chip and a paralyze. No miss. That was a that was a positive turn for slices of bread. Finishes it off with a Mewtwo. No weather setters yet. We got a weatherless Ubers game thus far. And in comes Kyogre, folks. You could probably assume that Techmark Gaming is running a Groudon. Based on the fact we've got a Kyogre commonly used together. And we've got the Taunt Gengar. Shutting down the Swords Dance. Wow. I love Gengar at Ubers. It's really fun to use. But, wow. HP goes crits through the burn. That's unfortunate, but that's, you know. That's okay. Techmark Gaming did get crit before, so a bit of back and forth on the RNG there. And also, you know, Wisp hit. But Tecmar Gaming was kind of asking for it, playing the way he was. He could have just gone for the attack on Latios. That was a bit dangerous, what he was doing there, recovering up. But, you know, that wasn't a game-ending crit right there. This Groudon's crippled. Slices of bread can get there still. We got the huge boom on Snorlax that might open things up for perhaps a Deoxys in the back. And... If it's special or, you know, some other special threat. Turns out we've got a Groudon. Dancing up in the face of enemy Groudon. Being set up fodder here. Burned Groudon sort of can't do much much of anything. So, good Swords Dance. And a Latias. Without Ice Beam. Not able to threaten Groudon very hard. And a T-Wave is going to be enormous. It's looking in excellent for slices of bread. And Rock Slide plus Flinch. I assume the Latias does have Refresh, but... The odds are in the favor of slices of bread here with the flinch chance on rock slide, the para chance, and you could even swords dance again if he wants. He does swords dance again. Allows a recover, but now he's pumping out so much damage, it looks pretty over and last as a magneton. Last is a magneton. Game two. Ho o lead versus Latios lead. Threatening a big Shadow Ball. That's gonna KO. Oh, it didn't. So yeah, not a band light it. Not a band hoa. Some kind of bulky hoa, but decides to stay in and go for that Shadow Ball chip against Latios. That could be game winning. Steelix comes out. 
cool to see that. It's an it's a cool niche little Pokemon in, in Ubers. It's a steel type. Steel types are hard to come by. Very high base defense. You check physical threats. And it has access to explosion. It's a bit like Metagross, but I think Metagross is a little bit better. Well, it's a lot better, really, because it has Pursuit. It has Meteor Mash is a lot nicer of a move to just spam. You can smack Snorlax, Groudon, whatever. Latios coming in. The fact that Latios is immune to Earthquake kind of hurts this. But you can bait in Latios and explode on it. That's that's good. And Steel Typing can be nice. It's kind of unfortunate. It's weak to ground. Unlike, say, Foratress or Skarmory. So is Metagross, though. But Metagross does a little bit more. Has a bit more utility. But... If I remember correctly, this Steelix did pretty well in this game. A huge double-edged crit. Well, clicked Thunderbolt. Must not have had anything for the Steelix. Ah, it was a misclick. He meant to click HP Fire. Yeah. That was either a misclick or he didn't have anything else to click. And that would mean, why the heck did he go to Magneton? So that was unfortunate, but that's alright. It happens, folks. Good old misplay gaming. So, gonna do a huge 48% to Kyogre. And if this is sub Carmine, this will beat Blissey. Blissey not able to break sub with Seismic Toss. But it's a Carmine Blissey itself. Does it have access to Thunder? Because that would win this 1v1. Yep, it's Thunder. That's in a benefit of Steelix. Ground typing, immune to electric. And that's pretty valuable in Ubers. Thunder is everywhere, folks. Thunder is extremely common. Victory Bell. Now, this is super cool. I think a Victory Bell is pretty awesome. Even without Sun, we got a Victory Bell coming out and getting asleep. And Swords Dancing in the face of Latios. Latios tries to recover up, and look at that enormous Sludge Bomb. Massive damage. Look at that. Wow. Here comes Quillfish with a big Sludge Bomb itself. And threatening Explosion. Snorlax coming in, though, against the Blissey. Logical switch in. It does not have a leftover, so I think that's probably a choice band Snorlax, especially because that just did 49% to horror. That's massive damage. I think that's a choice band Snorlax right there, folks. We're going to see another slam come down. And Blissey doing pretty massive damage to Snorlax, but gets crit on body slam. That would have done huge damage anyway, though. That's a band Snorlax against Blissey. That's doing like at least 70 something. At minimum. Okay, so... I don't know if that was a misclick or a gamer decision right there. Click Shadow Ball. And... Full para. So, bit of a reset situation. Oh! No superpower? Or maybe he doesn't want to click superpower. Because if he clicks superpower, he nerfs himself. Doesn't have enough attack to win. But... Problem is, folks, he's... Gonna die to this Quillfish next turn. So that was just uh, not really winnable for slices of bread there. And super unfortunate misclick on the mag. If he was able to chip that Steelix, maybe it was a different situation. But that's not how it played out. Goes with a Kyogre lead this time. Techmark Gaming with another Latios lead. This time with Thunderbolt rather than Thunder. Interesting. Thunderbolt. So that's a safer option if you're, you want uh, a more accurate... Electric move without rain up, but I would say thunder is generally the way way more common option It's one of the best moves in the game with a perma rain meta, but Opting for thunderbolt. I can see how that could be good in some situations for sure Depending on what his team is what his set is and on a Sun team. It's a little bit more logical Yeah, it's a bit harder to click thunder when you're making your own Sun you know, I still like Thunder on a Latios, even against, even when I do run Sun myself, because it helps when you, you switch into Kyogre. And then, you can check Kyogre, come in on a water move, resist it, and threaten a big Thunder. I think a lot of people do that, but I actually can understand the logic of Thunderbolt. Still threatens Kyogre, and not too bad. If it's a Sun Mirror, you're not completely useless with the electric coverage. A Magneton comes in and eliminates Foratress. Very cool to see Magneton 
doing its job, taking down the the basketball. And Magneton subbing up against Blissey, gonna miss a toxic. Uh, gonna go for another toxic, force out this Blissey, and this is a common situation in OU as well. Toxic Mag, oh, and Shedinja comes in and dies instantly, ladies and gentlemen. Tecmar Gaming said he forgot about the spike. I remember this when I was watching. I was like, what the heck was that? And then he he forgot there was a spike up. So unfortunate. Shedinja, as we know, has one health. One health point. Anything in the world will kill it. So, yeah. But that allows him to pivot into get a free switch into Groudon. Which, uh, pretty damn good, actually. And Hogo comes in to Blissey. Threatening huge damage with it. That must be choice ban. Or that was just a really lucky crit. But to be honest with Sun Up, Blissey not too threatening into Hoa. Worst case, he can get status, but I actually don't mind the earthquake click there. Not too bad. Especially if it's banned. Super logical. Grudon comes in. Doesn't have Ice Beam. Has Dragon Claw, but still doing huge damage. Must not be. Special defense invested on this Groot. I must be offensively oriented. Kind of unfortunate. He did have a Fari here. He could have found a rapid spin and made Shedinja a bit of a annoying thing to deal with for the enemy. But well, well done on that explosion. Taking out Rayquaza. Rayquaza could have maybe been a little bit of offensive pressure to break through and win. Taken out a little very cleanly there with explosion. Latios comes in with the rain up. Grudon gonna come in, neutralize the threat of Thunder, but unfortunately died a Dragon Claw. But it's looking good for Techmark Gaming. Slices of bread hits the huge Thunder with the 50% accuracy, but drops to Shadow Ball, and I don't think Deoxys attack is able to get through this here. Yep. Good, uh, good play by Tecmar Gamer. You gotta go Magneton first so that he's forced to use Superpower to kill it. And now his attack is not high enough because of the drop to be able to kill Latios. That was the correct way to deal with that. This was still winnable if he hit the, if he got full paralyzed, but he did not. And well played to Tecmar Gaming despite the, there was a misclick on both sides there. Misclick into Shedinja. Losing it for no reason, or I guess a misplay is more correct, because he forgot the spike was up, and... Uh, last game, the Magneton accidentally thunderbolting. Tragic. But, I thought that was a fun set. I think creative sets from both players. Thank you, Slices of Bread, for playing. I thought that was, uh, that was a good one. We got Drip Legend versus XRN. Who is a... I believe... Uh, has is, has some experience in the format, has some experience in Ubers, from what I've heard. And Drip Legend is a 1v1 player, Gen 3 1v1. So, leads with Deoxys attack and Mew. A very offensive leads right here. Both switching out to their own Metagrosses. Trying to catch perhaps an explosion from Mew, or be prepared for a Swords Dance plus explosion. Metagross clicks HP Fire. Right here, trying to hit enemy Metagross, but Kyogre comes in. It's pretty nice switch in there, and also reveals that it doesn't have leftovers. So, what could it be? Lumberry looks likely right now. Now that he's revealed Thunder Wave, I think it's probably a Lumberry on that Kyogre. Goes for a Pursuit on the Latios. Get a tiny little bit of chip. Maybe more worthwhile than mashing it to this Groudon. I don't know, though. I mean, he could have also gone his own Metagross into the mash, so... Or something else that tanks it, so I do... I, I understand the pursuit, not too bad. That little bit of chip on Latios might be enough for Kyogre to finish it off later. You know, every little bit of chip counts, folks, so... Creative ways to get chip. Always nice. That was unfortunate right there. Huge crit. HP Ghost does not one-hit. It does about 70-something. So that was pretty unlucky right there, but... Uh... Allows him to get Kyogre in, get a bit of momentum. Goes for Ice Beam rather than Water Move. Maybe he was anticipating a Latios coming in. Sensible play, but XRN, maybe 
mid grounds to Mew. Mew is pretty bulky. 100 base stats all around. So probably bulky enough to take just about anything Kyogre can do. Sensible mid ground. And it has a Lumberry. So if it thunders randomly or thunder waves, can tank that. I think the Mew switch was really sensible there. Try to get, get value out of this Mew once again. Gets the Swords Dance off safely. And I think... Alright, Explosion. So, I think that XRN is super happy with that trade. Trades his Mew for the Metagross. Mew is so scary. You're threatening Explosion, and just the threat of Explosion makes the enemy play really scared. Makes him funky switches, and even Drip Legend had to explode there just to neutralize the threat of Mew. Because Mew was, Mew was really... Swords Dance Explosion kills just about anything. So, you make the wrong move, and it could be disastrous. Snorlax was a nice switch for Drip Legend there. Calling out the Latios, getting a free body slam. Cursing up into enemy Snorlax, dodging the paralysis, and looking good right now for Drip Legend, I would say. Body slam about to two hit. Has to be careful though of a potential explosion. Does he catch him? He does. Very well played on that. Protects as he self destructs. But now this Metagross is threatening to explode too. And catches a Kyogre. Huge. For XRN. But I guess, you know, any target was pretty huge for XRN there. That was a pretty safe explosion. Takes out the Snorlax, he's happy. Latios gets to go crazy. Takes out the Kyogre, he's happy. Grudon gets to make Sun. Although, does he even want to make Sun? Maybe Kyogre was the best thing to... to tank Boom on there, actually. Deoxys attack you kind of need. You want to have a cleaner. And Snorlax is keeping Latios at bay. So, you know, I actually think I like the go, go Kyogre from Drip Legend looking at this. He's not benefiting too, benefiting too much from the sun. And you get rain up on last time. So, it goes Quillfish. If he did go Groudon to reset the weather, Quillfish still threatens Explosion. Quillfish threatens Explosion versus... Uh, it's probably a faster than Groudon. And threatens explosion versus a lot of stuff. But Rayquaza, I think at this point was unrevealed, right? Yeah, he didn't know there was a Rayquaza there. So, I don't know if that was a, you know, calling out a potential Swift Swimmer in the last slot from Drip Legend. But that was really nice. Uh, worked out really nicely for XRN there. Right here, they're both in the dark. They got to click a switch. They both go to their unrevealed Pokemon and XRN at the advantage because... Airlock nullifies the weather. Swift Swim is not in effect right now, and Earthquake is threatening to kill. But Quillfish stays in and clicks Destiny Bond, trying to call out Rayquaza. And this is probably what's just one XR in the game. I expected a explosion, but turned out to be a... Yeah, that, that right there just, just won in the game. I don't know if he was even meaning to do that, to play around Destiny Bond. I haven't used Quillfish too much or seen it too much, but I think uh, it usually runs Explosion. Destiny Bond, also a great option, though. But that was actually quite a close game. I think I liked a lot of Drip Legends plays, and I, I think his team is very cool, too. Let's go to game two. Let's keep Drip Legend on the bottom. And the Heracross lead. I talked about this with Super Epic Ampharos. Super, super threatening lead. And against the Laddie Twins, it is like... They never run a Psychic move. It's not really good in this meta to run a Psychic move. The only thing Psychic hits is like... Honestly, Heracross and maybe Gengar. Other than that, Thunder Ice Beam hits so much more. Even HP Fire hits more. Heracross, uh, Mega Horn, so threatening turn one. Look at this. Even this Fortress, I think, if it's a band, yeah, that's still taking 30. Good switch, though. Make a spike. Chip heal up. Good. Goes for Earthquake. Trying to catch a mag or something. You know, I suppose that's sensible. Actually, mag is a pretty common pair with Heracross, so... I think that play might look stupid, but I think it was actually pretty good. Uh, now that he's done that, he can be a little bit more sure that maybe XRN doesn't have a Magneton in the team. Heracross doesn't always run alongside Mag, but often does. And HP Fire Latios. 
So, makes more sense why he went to Latios into Foratrus now. In fact, he has HP Fire and now Metagross completely eliminated. That's a, so much damage from HP Fire. Going Latios and this is pretty unfortunate right here. Drip Legend does not have a very clean Latio switch in on this team. Even if it just had Thunder Ice Beam, like... Metagross can tank that and threaten Boom, but it's not very clean. And that's, uh... It's unfortunate he happened to have HP Fire, because that really d just destroys him. That's pretty... Pretty damn... Crazy. This team from XRN is looking very good. Subs on the explosion, and that's got to be GG. This one was a lot quicker. Uh, no shame in this one, Drip Legend. That was a, uh, you know, sometimes the offense is too hard to deal with. And I think the meta is going to evolve a bit more to handle Heracross in the future, because people are realizing Heracross is crazy, especially as a lead. I think that even Latios might start running Psychic. As I talked about with Super Epic Ampharos on my video. Uh, you know, the rise of perhaps flying types. Yeah. And Shedinja, crazily, you know, insanely enough, might actually... Okay, well, now Shedinja's gone, but... Actually, Shedinja represented a pretty massive threat here. Kind of walled Heracross cleanly, and... Fortunately, his HP Ghost growed on there, and Heracross does have Rock Slide. Dio has Shadow Ball, so actually not really. <laughs> but cool to see Shedinja. How's it going, brother? Shedinja doing stuff. Yeah, this one's unfortunately over. Lugia can, can be a pretty nuts wall, but last Mon, he's got full Pokemon. That one's over with. Thanks for entering Drip Legend. No shame in that one. XRN's a very good player, and... You had a good show in game one. Well done to XRN. See you next round. Up next, we've got a Bowl versus Uisco. Bowl, I think, is an ADV gamer. I've seen him around. Uisco, not familiar with, but thanks for joining. We've got Henrik the Mew lead. That's beautiful. How cool is Shiny Mew? Looks so great. And Henrik, that's a funny name. Sounds familiar somehow. I feel like I've seen Pokemon nicknamed Henbrick before. This Mew is like a... It's ra rather than the Swords Dance Explode set, this is like a... Special based Mew with Thunder Wave. That Mew just did so much work there. Look at all this Mew just did. Mew alone just... Chunked that Skarmory and paralyzed both Latius and Kyogre. Damn. Not a conventional Mew set, but just, uh, you know, they expect Swords Dance Explosion. They might be like, oh, I'm totally safe to stay with Skarmory turn one. Nope. Fire Blast. That's the strength of Mew as well. Insane move pool. Unexpected little moments can get so much value. And now that he's revealed Fire Blast, ah, oh, go Kyogre, get freaking paralyzed. Ah, oh, click it again. Get paralyzed again, moron. Look at that. Mew going crazy. And that's HP Bug right there. Must be HP Bug because that was huge damage. That might just 1v1 this Latias. I think it's Dragon Claw only. Gonna spike up. Might even be able to rapid spin. Explode. Who the hell knows? I think Foratrus is in a great position here, but he's got to be careful not to let this Latias get too strong. He's just HP bugging over and over, denying these heals. It's working out well enough, but... Okay, finally goes to Mew. Uh, was that like an explodeless Foratrus? Because... He just sacked his Rayquaza. And... Uh, his Mew. So, I'm wondering, like, why don't you just explode with Foratrus? Do you not run it? 
a little bit strange there. But takes out the Latius, but the Latius did way more damage than it probably should have. He was in a great position with the Flory. Could have just taken it out one for one. Carmine's up. Dodgers are toxic. That's pretty huge. He might be back in the game now. And yeah, this is a quite a threat. But Mewtwo neutralizes it with a with an explosion, a bit of takes takes. And looks like Grudon's probably gonna clean this up. I think yeah, Yuisko is done for. Unless he gets some god luck. Nope. Yeah, I, I actually... I feel like that was a good position and he just sacked two Pokemon. He must know about Explosion on Fortress, which... Uncommon, but might be a team building reason for that. And sorry if I'm... Judging that too harshly, but I feel like... Explosion is one of Fortress's greatest tools. I don't think I've ever used a Fortress without Explosion. You know, you or anything. Anyway... That's okay. Game two. We've got a Ho-Oh lead versus a Zapdos lead. That's unconventional. That's an OU Pokemon. What's going on? Agility. It's Agility Pass. To Metagross. Does he get paralyzed? No. It looks like he also has a Lumberry or something because there's no leftovers. Couple of mashes going to the right. Not connecting. Now that's unfortunate. And a couple of car minders doing stuff, having fun. That's a crit ice beam. But Kyoka presumably wins this 1v1 if it is Dragon Claw only, Latias, which is the most common car mind set. You get Dragon Claw Refresh. Uh, Snorlax booms, trying to catch the Kyoga, but Metagross tanks it nicely. And. Thunder wave into Metagross and gets boomed on. I think Uisco should have just not overthought that. Probably just clicked the button. Maybe he was thinking Zapdos comes in, he saves the Metagross, but it's a... It's... You know, an 18 health Metagross. He's probably just sacking it. A sack will allow him to get Kyogre in, and what does he even gain from going Zapdos? He's threatened by Rock Slide. So, I would say that... Uh, Probably just click the button there. That's alright though. Bit of self refraction He says, that was dumb of me. That's alright, mate. I see what you were going for. And Fori's getting surfed. That's dire when you have to take such a huge hit on Fori. But I've seen Lugia make crazier comebacks. Look at Lugia tanking absolutely everything. Oh, but a Zapdos Thunder is freaking enormous. Look at that. And yeah, Zapdos cleans out the game with Thunders. That's pretty... And he has a Staff Berry with Special Defense Boost. What the? I've officially seen it all, folks. Alright, that was a cool one. Nice team from Bowl there. Good effort from Uisco. Thank you for joining, gamers. Alright, this is uh, Mitana, who is a... An Ubers player. I believe they were my ADVPL team. Playing Ubers. And BT889. With the Popeye the Sailor Man. Avatar. That's a great avatar. I've never seen that one. I should use that. Lead matchup looking good there for BT. With a big thunder. That's massive. And gets the para. Going Metagross. Ooh. Takes a huge earthquake though. Probably expected a rock slide, but Mitana going for the earthquake. That's what you call a middle ground. Ooh. Stays in on a toxic and just blows up. Now. Looks like uh, Skarm is threatened out. HP fire. Invites in Snorlax. It's crazy seeing sand up in Ubers. And all of a sudden, Latios and Snorlax are really not enjoying having sand. They're taking chip damage. This is the strength of Tyranitar. Not a common Pokemon in... And look at this. Just the, the extra sand chip allows Tyranitar to finish off Snorlax. That little 5%.
He's out of there. See that? That's sandstorm, folks. He's probably got to have a Groot on. Right there. Yeah, this sand is, is getting that little, little bit of extra value. Look at that. Just two sand procs takes out the Mewtwo on 10%. In a sandless game, a Mewtwo on 10% could have blown up, could have done whatever. In this game, it's gone. Now, Latios can often 1v1 Blissey. He probably has Refresh. Maybe this one doesn't, though. Nice pivot into Deoxys Attack. Deoxys Attack, usually not a Pokemon you switch into anything. But right here, gets it in on a Toxic. It is on a timer, but... All things considered, Deoxys Attack being in represents an enormous threat, but... Oh, he subs up. Interesting play, probably trying to find the Pattaya Berry. And, okay, Mitana can switch around. Install this Deoxys out. Probably goes back Groudon. And... Ooh, nice play, BT. Calls out the Groudon. Unfortunately, not enough time to... To... Kill everything it needs to. Gets the Pattaya Berry on its way out. Yeah, that's not going to be enough, folks. Kyogre comes in. Kyogre could honestly... Maybe... Win with, like, a Carmine subset, but... It's... Dubious, because... Latias threatens Kyogre with a Thunder, if it has it. And looks like it does have Thunder, and it's it's over. Doesn't even finish off the Latias, unfortunately. That little bit of extra bulk compared to Latios may have just won him the game, although I don't think that Kyogre could have gotten through Blissey, though. There was some cool plays there. I like the little Deoxys sequence. Unfortunately, not enough to, to get there, but... But hey. Let's take a look at game two. We've got a Metagross and a Lugia lead. Unconventional couple of leads, but... You know, good old-fashioned fun. Ooh. Banned Lugia, I assume, with a huge earthquake. And doesn't blow up, rather... Goes for a rock slide, but knows that he's locked in. Gets his Latias in. Misses Thunder twice. Unfortunate. Ooh, Snorlax trying to Fire Blast something coming in. Probably Metagross. Does it again. Oh, jeez, man. Goes Metagross correctly. Oh, catches the... That was so... The, the mind game's going on here. He kept trying to fire blast the meta coming in. He was staying. He was staying put. Gets it in on the body slam. And then we see the protect come out. If BT just clicked mash there, that would have been an insane sequence. He almost made it happen, but Mitana neutralizes the threat of explode. Mewtwo subbing up, not able to... Yeah, this Snorlax is now a lot of... That's the thing about Snorlax. If you boom on their, if you boom on their protect with Metagross, all of a sudden, like you got nothing for it. You really got to shoot your shot and hope it lands because Snorlax, if if its check goes down, which is Metagross, look at how threatening this damn thing is. It's like a legendary Pokemon itself. This thing is so powerful. But Deox is gonna finish it off, and then Rayquaza comes in to. Hit him with the speed. The Wob comes in and counters. Oh, you don't Encore there, man. Misplay. That's alright. I think he... I think it was it was probably lost anyway. We've got three Mons in the back. Unfortunate. But yeah, that's probably a band requires. You just click counter. But probably wouldn't have uh, made too much of a difference. Maybe if, if there was no crit there, the Wob effect could have got one more kill. Maybe... Mewtwo can make something happen. That could have been winnable. We'll never know. But we'll never know. That's how it is in the history books. And that's how it played out. Up next, we've got Zach Zachary PZ versus Caliph Guest. Who... Both gamers are ADV people who I'm familiar with. From BKC's Discord and other places. Zachary PZ... 
current main admin of the Advanced League Discord and guy who beat me with Choice Band Moltres. Which is a recurring nightmare of mine that keeps me up, of ni up at night. Aptly leading the Heracross, which is going to... One of the best leads right now. And Kyoga doesn't want to stay in on a huge Choice Band, but... Oh, jeez. Caliph forced to frickin... Or I guess a welcome guess is what they go by. Forced to take the world's largest Mega Horn. And... Thunder Wave the Heracross. That is dire. Zachary just frickin' took out... Kyoga. Public enemy number one. With a little bug. Can you believe it? A little funny bug just took out the absolute legendary... Cover legendary of Gen 3. We've got... Target and... This is the problem with Tired. You get pretty shut down by Grudon, but actually, that double edge was pretty massive chip. We're getting Latios in. Oh, it's a it's a berry. And Swords Dance, dead to HP Ghost right now. We're gone. Oh, goes Snorlax on the HP Ghost. It's insane level gaming. Look at that. Lives. Body slam. That was actually pretty damn cool. That was actually quite awesome. Goes Rachi, safely gonna tank that Dragon Claw like it's nothing. Snorlax preserved as a sack for later. Oh, that was a really cool little line there. Oh, HP Fire in the Sun though. That's such enormous damage. Gonna... Ah! Oh! Goes for the Lax sack with the added benefit of if he full paras, he now threatens him once again. Oh man, it gets a last body slam, and this is the greatest Snorlax in history. Absolutely going toe to toe with Groudon, and then, then then getting the last laugh against Latios. Is that not the greatest Snorlax in history, man? You know the the cutscene from Emerald where Rayquaza comes down and stops the fight between Kyogre and Groudon. It's freaking Snorlax comes down, body slams Groudon to death, and then gets the last hurrah against Latios. Goes out like an absolute champion. My god. And... A Wobbuffet? This thing is a... A safeguards instead of... Mirror coating. And goes down. He could have mirror coated and killed Latios right there. Ooh. Goes Fori on the Shadow... Caliph Guest is playing this like a goddamn maniac. He's doing so well. Saxtarachi. I love that. Probably gets Tarin. Great. And now, superpower? Okay. Goes for a gamer stay. Maybe he thought that Zack would think that he goes Latios on the... Sorry, Latios on the superpower. Doesn't play out like that, but that's alright. Even in this case, not too bad. He's nerfed. Shadow Ball no longer kills. And forced to sack Heracross. Not that that's a big deal, though, to be honest. And Zack able to get Rayquazian... Ooh. Not gonna go for E-Speed, though. Shadow Ball. And... Oh, I think Zack wins with Fire Punch. Oh, damn. That was close as hell. Well played to both gamers. I felt like... Welcome Guest was in, in control there like crazy, but... Just, uh, Deoxys attack happened to clean up. I loved that game. That was really cool. Game 2. Welcome guest. Zach PZ. Mewtwo into Heracross. He's loving the Heracross lead. It's doing great things for him. Blows up a Snorlax. That could be enormous. And Kyogre is no longer worried about Snorlax. Huge pump. But they're going to trade. There's a lot of trading. It's very chess-like. A lot of takes-takes. Protect on the Hera. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh jeez. Endure? S gets the slam para. Threat neutralized. Ah, oh, gets full para too. That would look so scary, but then... Oh jeez, but yeah, still faster after freaking Salak, yeah. Remember how slow Snorlax is, guys. Be careful. When the enemy's paralyzed, you're not always faster. Snorlax is 
slow as hell. I think an important one is like Aerodactyl. Paralyzed Aerodactyl sometimes still faster than Snorlax if you don't invest a bit in in speed. But Latios gonna finish that off. That was crazy. Meta on the Laddie. Oh, beautiful. Gonna get a free explode. Trade down. Ah, oh, probably blows up the Latios. Oh, doesn't click it though. Didn't click boom. Thought he would switch out to something that takes boom. But that's alright. That's enough chip. To clean up the Latios with a Shadow Ball. Does he have Thunder? No, but Latios does. Are we going to see Flail? Gyarados and Ubers can run Substitute, Salakberry, Flail. An interesting set? Or is it Lychee Berry with, uh, with Dragon Dance? So, the Deoxys attack will be able to extreme speed and finish off this Gyarados, but I think Gyarados is going to be able to take out the Latios with Flail. Flail does more damage the lower health you are. Gyarados on able to go down to literally 1 HP. And does Deoxys kill the last? Might be a speed tie, but we don't know how fast each Deoxys is. And... Welcome Guest finishes that one off. Could have been a 50-50, could have not been. Maybe this Deoxys also didn't have extreme speed. We'll never know, it's up in the air. Zach says he need didn't bring a third team, needs a third team. Wasn't prepared for it to go to a game three, which it has. Welcome Guest, clawing a dear life. Deoxys defense. As discussed with Epic Ampharos, Deoxys defense is a hyper offense lead. You... Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Mirror Coat. Doesn't kill, though. By just barely doesn't kill. That's crazy tech, though. Does freaking 99%, though. What the? Metagross coming in on the D-Claw. Gets a spike up. Yeah, Deoxys Defense, you, you give it speed. Oh, what the hell's going on here? This is, this is crazy. Full Parrot. Okay, Tara is going to finish off this laddie. With the sand damage. Yeah, Deoxys Defense, you pump it with speed. And you, you make spikes early on and just go ham. It's a bit like Glalie or something, I know you, but... Remember, you can only run one Deoxys at a time, so... You run Deoxys Defense, you cannot run Deoxys Attack. Surf, huge damage versus Snorlax, killing it after a spike. Two hitting it. And... Resetting the weather... Even after a little bit of good fortune from Welcome Guest here, it's not looking good for him. He's two, two Pokemon down, and this Deoxys defense has created a single spike that is really getting big value. He said this has two moves. Is that, is that uh, a team building error? He forgot to put moves on his guy? Uh, this... Looking rough. He's eventually gonna hit that Thunder against ho -Oh. Even though it's 50 accuracy in the sun. And this invites in... Oh, Metagross in. Threatening an extreme speed. That's actually so... Oh, Dragon Dance is probably gonna finish off the game. Yeah, even after some good fortune in the early game... This team just looks like it has the, the better matchup. Welcome Guest was not able to quell the threat of Kyogre after that huge mirror code on his Latias. That mirror code won him the game, Zach. That huge chip on Latios and the eliminating it with Tar, even though he spent a lot to do it, he got his Metagross chipped, he got his Tar chipped. Latios was his only reprieve against Kyogre, and without that, look at Snorlax taking more than half of its health after a spike, getting two hits, and then you force in Groudon, and it's over. He, he's so threatened by Kyogre, and that took out the very important defensive pillar of Snorlax 
allowing Zachary to get there. And Zachary forcing another freaking superpower. This Deoxys now has attack in the negative. This, Zach this Deoxys attack is not living up to its name any longer. It's quite weak after two drops and is going to be defeated. That was a very fun set. Welcome guests. Thank you for the entertaining gameplay and the cool teams. HClat with the... We've got HClat versus Agensis here. Fellow ADVPL teammate. Gen 3 OU legend with the greatest avatar I've ever seen. I have the same one. Versus Agensis. Let's get into it. A simple Latios and Mewtwo lead matchup. Very standard, very... Oh, he's got the Icy Wind anti-Mewtwo lead. That's quite cool. Icy Wind's again. Fori. Common switch into Snorlax. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And this threatens an explosion. But goes Latios instead. And intelligently, because if he exploded, he would have lost his Fori for nothing. Forced to take an Ice Beam after that that sub, but this Thunder. Oh, it goes for a Recover. I like that play, actually. Ooh. Gets Fire Blood. That was a good play, Agensis. Calling out the Fory Switch, and that Mewtwo just got so much. That Mewtwo was just crazy valuable. That's the strength of Mewtwo right there. Explode. See how good Self-Destruct is, guys? Ooh, the Pursuit. Not actually enough to kill, and Thunder going to two-hit. I wonder if Hedgecloud has a bit of bulk for that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. And the Wob actually eliminates Snorlax extremely cleanly. Wobbuffet is a really good Snorlax answer. On teams that want Snorlax dead. And yeah, he goes for Encore. Might as well. Going to die anyway. Nothing else you can possibly do. Ends up catching the sub. And gets a safeguard up randomly. And Encore ends, but... No chance of Parrock because safeguard's up. That's funny. And uh, probably Sacks Wob at that point. Oh, Sacks Kyogre. But yeah, Deox his Deoxys attack has extreme speed. So that's sensible as well. Sacking Wob could have invited another sub. Didn't want to have that. Didn't need to have that. He's alright. Oh, Pattaya Berry with E-Speed last. I like that. Huge Thunder. Plus Special Attack Deoxys. And I can only assume it's Ice Beam. And this one's over, folks. Assuming the last can finish off Latios. And it certainly can. It's a Snorlax. There we go. Blows up for the fans. That looked dire for h -Clat. That Mewtwo got a lot of value early on, but... Just Deoxys Attack and Wobbuffet. That combo is really powerful. You eliminate Snorlax and... Makes sense that he doesn't have superpower on his Deoxys Attack if he's running that Wobbuffet. Because if, if you eliminate Snorlax, you don't really need superpower. So I like that. Has the E-Speed and that E-Speed. That little team building uh, optimization won him that game. It was able to give him that little extra tool against his Deoxys Attack. Finish it off with the priority option. Very nice. Goes Fori in the face of a Kyogre. Makes sense when Sun is up. Water attacks are going to be nerfed. And Ice Beam doing nothing to Fori. Latios comes in. Agensis with a Bliss is not going to enjoy that spike being up. Ooh, stays and thunders. Whoa. Catches a Fori double switch attempt from Agensis. And this Blissey has taken a lot of chip. And now it's forced to heal. Something like Grudon could come in. Fori comes in. That's good too. Makes another spike. And his own Fori dead. dead. Doesn't get to spin. This spike is staying up permanently. 
Ooh, Rayquaza with Overheat. Bypasses the rain with, with Airlock. Takes out Fori. I love that. That's so cool. Sacred Fire, perhaps? No, HP Flying gonna be able to two-hit Kyogre. That's such a threatening Band ho -Oh. Nothing wants to switch in on Band ho -Oh. That's a really good threat right now. Ooh. Blissey of his own. People are running Snatch on Blissey to prevent Latios from clicking Refresh. I wonder if that's what uh, H-Clat's running. Looks like it's not. It's probably... Can't fit it if it's got light screen, I think. But that's something to note right there. Snatch is a weird move. It's a Gen 3 exclusive, I think. We might see it come up in a future game. And yeah, this is looking good for h Clyde. He's probably going to finish off... Especially after that attack where he's going to... Yep. Band ho -Oh. Big damage. Can't get through Blissey. And force it to superpower and you're all good against DOA. There you go. GG's to Age Clat. Just double checking that that was game two. Yes. Well done. And thank you, Agensis, for entering. Good showing. You made some plays. The Mewtwo in that other game did good. Did some work. Unfortunate uh, little matchup thing there, and the team was teched with the E speed, and that 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 was good. We got Freeze versus Shaman King, both uh, ADV OU community members. Shaman King has a YouTube channel. Check that out if you guys want some bit of laddering content. I don't know if Freeze has a YouTube channel. Maybe. But yeah, I've seen both of these guys around. Trying out Ubers. Thanks for joining my tour, guys. Ubers is cool. Kyogre vs. Groudon. Skarm coming in against Groudon. Does this Groudon have a fire coverage? It looks like it doesn't. But Freezer Man checks anyway. Doubles back to Kyogre in case of a fire move coming out. That's safe. That's sensible. He gets some information. Shedinja coming in on the Kyogre. This Shedinja... Represents an uh, insane wall in some situations. I think it walls most Latios and Kyogre sets. Ooh. HP Ghost just one hit Latios. That must be a banned Groudon or something. Because that usually doesn't do that much. And that Spike, Shedinja is now no longer a Pokemon unless we find a Rapid Spin. Sacred Fire. That's the strength of Sacred Fire right there. All their main switch-ins to a big fire type move in the in the sun. Now hating life. They're burned. Sacred fire with the 50% burn chance. So hard to switch into, even if you resist it. Very powerful move. And Latios coming in. Ooh, th thunder. Absolutely enormous. Fori, very, very logical teammate alongside Shedinja. Gonna go for a rapid spin, I can only assume. And now Shedinja can probably come in here. Shedinja can come in pretty cleanly against this Kyogre. But goes Groudon instead. You know what? Pretty sensible. Goes Rayquaza on that. Ooh, the freaking crit. Look at that. That's fake as hell. 71% to Rayquaza. Can this little bug please calm down? What a threat, man. E-speed, though. Threatening the entire rest of the team. Rayquaza is a great Pokemon, and this is why. Extreme speed, such a good move in the format. Such a good physical presence. Won that game. That was a, such a clean game from Shaman King. Well done. I love the team with the Shedinja. We got game two. Let's have consistency with the positioning. Shaman King on the top. We got a couple of Mewtwo's being friends. Ooh, one of them has Calm Mind. One of them doesn't. Lax forced in. 
No freeze. Blows up on Lax. That's enormous. Kyoga is loving life now that there's no Lax, but there's still a Latios to get through. It's not so simple. Oh, an Exeggutor gets crit. What the hell is that? That's random. He's got Omastar and Exeggutor on the same team. That's nutcase territory. And this is just uh, Latios being Latios. He's... He's ice-beamed it with Omastar and lost his Swift Swimmer. It's... Ooh, that's funny, man. That's a double... Double weather setter, double weather abuser team. You got Omastar, Exeggutor, Kyogre, Grudon. And... It may be funny, but it makes your team a little bit defensively weak against... The common offensive presences of Latios and even Kyogre. Look at how threatening Latios just was against him. He really doesn't have much... Had to sack his Omastar. This one, I think, even though it's hilarious and I'm glad he brought it, it's a bit of a team issue right here. That's, uh... Oh, Glick's Water Spout. Probably forgot about the Water Spout interaction there. That was probably a misclick. Or maybe he thought it would finish off Mewtwo anyway. Yeah, this one's going to be over. Mewtwo's going to clean up with a with a boom to go out. That was an unfortunate and a and a swift one. Wobbuffet lead versus Smeagol lead goes to Registil. Shaman King always brings crazy stuff, man. Even in OU, he's He's a creative builder, I'll give him that. We got Wobbuffet, Registeel. And this Smeagol looks like it's about to do its job pretty cleanly right here. It made two spikes and even slept the Registeel. Registeel with freaking Sleep Talk, by the way. What the heck is that? That's nuts. I don't know how common sleep is in general. Smeagol's probably one of the more common sleep users. I know there's Exeggutor. But, gee whiz, a sleep talk, a, a sleep ab uh, absorber in Ubers is rare, I think, but actually did its job a little bit here. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Shaman King is fucked. The Grudon just swords danced up behind a sub. I don't know what the hell he can do here. Yeah, that's a dead blissy. That's kind of the problem with Registeel. It doesn't work as a physical wall when Grudon is is the main physical attacker you gotta watch out for. I mean, Registeel's a little bit of dead weight. Wob getting two hit with the... Lati the famously dangerous Latios Thunder. Never mind. Hanging on for dear life, getting the mirror coat. Absolutely saluting on its way out. Goodbye, Latios. Like a champion, Wobbuffet taken out. And this looks... Honestly, winnable with the Shaman King. Deoxys attack is what he needs right here. That's an offensive presence. Ooh, he's gonna die though. He's gonna die. Oh, he may have lived that. With if not for the crit, I don't know his exact EV spread, but that's perhaps unfortunate. I might have gone to Kyogre or Registeel right there, but you know what? I would have died to pursuit, wouldn't I? I can't imagine Shaman King can come back from this one. Gro look at Grudon. Registeel just... Just absolutely asks Grudon to come in and achieve value. I love the creativity, but whoa, he just... Carmine it up. I guess that's his, that's the Hail Mary. That's the Hail Mary. You gotta Carmine up. Good showing, Shaman King. Thanks for, thanks for bringing some interesting stuff. Thanks for joining my tournament, brother. This one is me. Jimothy Cool himself versus uh, Munby, my... My fellow Australian gamer. This was a fun one. We got Ron Flex. I, f I f can't recall how this one plays out. I think I got F game one. We got... Uh, what is there to say? I'm so intelligent. I go Latios against the Kyogre. Have you guys ever seen something so good? Ooh, I got crit on the... 
I got crit on the ass beam. What the? Gengar comes in with a big thunder. I'm running a special Gengar on this team. Trying it out. It's got magnet. Goes for the pursuit. Sensible. Intelligent. I could have stayed in, in fact, and taken out this Metagross if I wanted to, but we get a spike up. Oh dear. Yeah, I look like I'm in trouble, don't I, folks? What? Slam. I should have blown up. What the hell's Jim doing? You gotta blow up there, man. You know, you're not went living that. Uh oh. Gengar in. Gengar can save it. No, he cannot. He got mashed. Mumby with the mix ups. Thought he would pursue it again. Mashes this time. Gamer. How can I compete against such a gamer? Trying to catch the boom. Got it. And trying to hoping for a miracle with Lugia. Lugia not able to one hit Deoxys attack though. Series of unfortunate events. And Mumby with the victory. Game one. Can Jimothy do it? Can he come back? Ladies and gentlemen, Mew lead with the Swords Dance. Uh oh. What the hell did I just do? I just fell right into the oldest trick in the book. Folks, I don't know sh crap about Gen 3 Ubers. What was that? That's one of the worst plays you've ever seen. But we go Skarm on the boom. At least I'm not that stupid. Skarm tanks a boom. Fairly well. Still lost 70%. We hope for no HP fire on Latios. And we are quite lucky that it's not. Even though it's pretty common to run that alongside Grudon. We go Jirachi. We got a fire punch in the sun. Oh! I'm so dumb. We go Skarm on the HP Fire. Of course it's HP Fire Metagross. There's a freaking Grudon. It's the sun. What was I thinking? And he gets to play Ubers? What a sick joke. And this Grudon is going to freaking get its Salakberry. Jim's in trouble. Jim's in a lot of trouble. Jim is not having... Any fun. Honestly, Jim is like in turmoil right now. Jim is actually in shambles. Heracross comes in. We're gonna Swords Dance and uh, Reversal as he does that. Wasn't sure if I was still faster afterwards when I hit Salak, but. Extreme speed. We go there on the freaking Rayquaza. Can we make it happen? What's this? Will-O-Wisp? Ooh. Huge. Huge. Uh, I'm trying to T-wave the Latios coming in. But he's getting me. He knows what I'm trying to do. Oh, flamethrower. Ah, oh, big earthquake though. What happens now? I think I try to go Gengar and the explode and I... F it up. Oh no, I did get him. That's what you do, man. Gengar. And we will o wisp Oh no, we pursue, we switch out. I thought I will o wisped him. What was I thinking? Oh, but Megahorn is so massive. Look at that. Wow, man. Swarm Megahorn. Uh-oh. What the? Why'd that just do 53, man? That just, that's a resisted move. It just did more than half to Rayquaza, the cover legendary. And we Will-O-Wisp correctly on the Metagross coming in. And it's he could Pursuit. He could stay in. HP Fire doesn't quite kill. We're going we're gonna to an extra turn of Burn Chip. I think Jim might just, uh, might just save the day. Jim's going to do it. Fire Punch finishes that off, and Fire Blast, we live it with Rayquaza, and we we get him. We got him. But Mumby is freaking... He doesn't even play this game, and he's actually owning me. I'm actually, like, this was a hard game. He plays, like, Tag Pro and stuff. 
He plays other games, but he joined my tournament. Couple of Kyogres thundering one another. What in tarnation? Gorbis for the fans. Gorbis is Swift Swim. You got sub baton pass. Look at this. I remember this. He sub baton passes to something. It was a Metagross. And he lives behind the, the sub. And this is. Look at how good that is. That's crazy. Gets the raise. Oh, jeez. Takes out my Kyogre. Almost. I live on 2%. Hanging on for dear life. Get the Surf in. Much needed Surf. Deoxys Neutral. First person to bring this to the tournament. Trying it out. It's a Deoxys attack basically, but it has a bit more bulk. Can live Pursuits. That's the key. Can also live Extreme Speed from the enemy Deoxys attack. And... Oh, I clicked explode there, I remember, and... And I got full power. That was unfortunate, but that's alright. We got Ron Flex coming in. Snorlax. Gets powered again, man. I know what Super Epigamphorus is talking about, you know. Thunder is just nuts, and... Oh, I thought I would kill. I'm so dumb. I think I click boom, right? Why don't I click explode? I probably should, but I got... Rewarded for my greed. We killed him with a high roll. We forced the superpower. And look at this. Deoxys. Oh, Kabutops. That's right. This is my Kabutops team. Kabutops cleans this up so nicely. Look at this. The huge double edge. I think it kills this even. Outspeeds and smacks it. Kabutops is my favorite swift swimmer for sure. I think Kabutops is really good. And right here, I don't recall what- Oh, we go Latios. I was saving it. I didn't want to throw. Ooh. Yeah, just chunk this down. And... I go Deoxys. Because I know Kabutops can outspeed and kill Deoxys attack and also live a extreme speed so i was like you know kill snorlax with my other two don't throw and double edge myself take too much recoil i calc to brick break and it kills mumby keeping me on my toes honestly played pretty damn well they're right there gg's brother there's quite a few more sets here man i'll go through them all I'm, I'm already an hour in. Let's go for it. Colin. ADV Gamer. Fan of the channel, I think. Pokology. I've played against him before. Good player. Runs some weird stuff in OU. Thanks for joining my tourney, guys. Deoxys Defense from Colin. Gonna... That was a great taunt and great sub. I mean, great taunt on the sub, and then make three spikes. This is pretty, pretty damn good for Colin. Goes Laddie though on the surf. Oh, bad crit. That sucked. Laddie's down all of a sudden. Oh, no ice beam. Thought ice beam was coming out there. Goes for a thunder. Maybe Colin is still in it. No freaking. Is that a no ice beam Kyogre? You don't see that every day. Sub Thunder Surf, probably Carmine last or something. Yeah, Carmine, no Ice Beam. Alrighty. Well, Latios matches up pretty nicely against that and is dodging the Paralyze every time. Goes for the Greed Heal. Rewarded for doing so. And Latios' brother switches in. Latias. Dragon Claw. Ho oh, are gonna tank that like it's nothing at all. Stay in its shadow ball. And we can only assume that Latias does not have Thunder because it's Dragon Call Carmine. They usually 
Last two moves there are recover and refresh. We've got... Kyoka comes in cleanly against Skarm and threatens the entire game with... The greatest move of all time, Thunder. Rayquaza is a pretty nice whirlwind outcome right there. Finish, finishing off Skarm. But allows in Mewtwo and then... Mewtwo gets a damn sub. Well... Golly G, this might be... Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. He probably could have broken sub, right? If he's got Seismic Toss. Uh, this Mewtwo behind a sub might win the entire game. I actually don't know who wins this one. I don't have the outcome open. Oh, the punch? How much does that do? 44? Probably not enough, but Latias can come in here? Look at that bulk. Latias, a little bit bulkier than its brother. And Declaw. This one does not have a lot of attack, but... Gonna try and chunk down the Groudon. Get it down. Kill it off. And can Rayquaza... Ooh, Ice Beam on Rayquaza is fun. Can Rayquaza finish, finish off Light? Ooh, and his own Deoxys defense in the back. You're gonna die to two Dragon Claws. Look how strong Latios is, man. Dragon Claw does so much. I'm thinking Colin takes this one, but... Pocology putting up a fight. I will not lie. Yeah. I'm gonna take a lot from this Shadow Ball. But... Ooh, wow. Never mind. Is, Re is Pocology coming back from this with the... With the mixed Rayquaza, the special Rayquaza. I think he just might. Mewtwo last. Nah, Rayquaza can clean that up. Oh, wow, he did it with the Mewtwo. I thought... Damn, that was, uh, that was a crazy one. That was super close, and Colin looked like he was in command the whole time, but that's the strength of Mewtwo. Mewtwo can just make it happen. And that was an amazing use of Rayquaza there, the, the mixed Rayquaza. Putting in so much work. Okay, Carmine's up in the face of ho -Oh, and that appears to be a mistake. Oh, never mind. S faster than ho -Oh. Subs in case of a switch. That's a really speedy Kyogre then. ho -Oh is usually faster than Kyogre, I think. Gets own Rayquaza in. Gets Groudon in. Luckily, that was not an explosion. Colin with the double Primals team. Groudon and Kyogre on the same team. A lot better than it looks. Oh, man. Colin in a good position there with a free slam gets the para. Oh! Was that Quick Claw? Or was that just the slowest Slurnalax of all time? No way does it. No, no, that had to be Quick Claw. No way can Metagross outrun. Metagross is not that fast at all. Even if it was max speed, no way. That's Quick Claw. That's nutty. I think Quick Claw is like low key good in Ubers, and I hate the fact that it is, but watch out for that, fellas. All right, Mewtwo versus Mewtwo. I think. I don't know if Colin can deal with the Deoxys attack. Oh, nice switch there. Guess Rayquaza in. I don't think that Heracross can kill Rayquaza after this. Does it? Respectable amount of damage, though. Ooh, nice Dragon Dance. Good play. But Mewtwo's really bulky. Mewtwo will be able to survive this. Latios. Maybe he should have just gone for the E-Speed. I don't know. Gonna go for the Calm Mind win condition. Oh, Shadow Ball. Mixed Mewtwo just won the game, man. 
Mix Mewtwo just with the surprise Shadow Ball gets... That's enough to kill that finish off Colin's Mewtwo. That was really cool by Pokology. I mean, the teams look pretty standard, but there was some creative stuff. I love it. Really nice. Up next, we've got Super Epic Ampharos versus 918. Once again, the Epic Avatar. Super Epic Ampharos is a experienced Gen 3 Ubers player. Featured on my channel. Helping me out with the tier list video. Thank you for featuring. And uh, has made a lot of resources for Ubers. Team dumps, set dumps. Check those out if you guys want to get into the format. Really useful stuff. Has a YouTube channel as well, I found out. So check that out in the... I'll chuck that in the description. And 918, I've seen around on in ADV and I think other old gents. Community gamer. Thanks for joining, brother. Unfortunate matchup for you here. Up against the god himself. Fatso the Snorlax coming in. Ooh. That was a cool play right there. Earthquakes in the face of a Latios. Probably expects a Metagross to come in. But it's a Tyranitar. Same idea though. Same idea. Cat gets a little nice or respectable 39% off that astute play. But Tar looks good here. Cuts off the healing from the Snorlax's leftovers. And invites back in Kyogre. Ooh, nice Ice Beam, brother. Calls out the Latios switch. Gets a free Thunder, no para for you. He loves the Shinies. Metagross coming in on the Ice Beam. Beautiful pivot from Ep Epic Ampharos there. But... Oh, Earthquake. Makes sense, both of them have Earthquake. No Groudon in sight thus far. Oh, what? Went for the Nutty Mash. Tried to catch Latios or something. That was greedy. Gets exploded on. But I think the idea was, was insane and I love it. That was a ballsy click, but didn't pay off, unfortunately. He met Super Picanthorus just happy to sack his Metagross to, to get a f safe switch back into Latios here. I love the idea, though, but you can't go too crazy sometimes. you got to keep it simple. Just Earthquake the guy in front of you. But, okay, the Tar is going to Sand Ship the Kyogre to death all of a sudden. Sandstorm is about to get pretty nuts value. Oh, Dragon Dance Tar in Ubers? Ooh. And that's going to... Look how threatening this is right now. Snorlax is effed. I don't know if it outspeeds Latios. I don't know about the EVs. Do EV to outrun Latios? Nope. Latios can finish it off. But I don't think I've ever seen that. I think it's the first time I've seen... Dragonance Tyranitar in Gen 3 Ubers. Yeah, Deoxys attack is going to clean up here. And two mons against Lugia. Lugia has done stranger things have happened, but... That was like almost winnable somehow, but... I think Deoxys would have finished it off even if Aeroblast went through. Honestly, great showing though. Really good plays there. And... Uh, Nice awareness. Didn't quite hit the mark with that Metagross EQ, but uh, that was cool. Well played, man. And the Hera lead. The Absolute Menace. Gonna... Oh, the Groudon takes it like a champion, though. Not Must not be banned. As evidenced by the fact that it used a different move. It has Swords Danced. Oh... Hera can kind of wall Groudon, which also makes it really crazy. And, yeah. Plus two Megahorn in Swarm range is going to be doing a huge amount of damage to anything on the planet. That's the strength of Hera. Look at that. Like, Groudon, unless it has a fire type move coverage, kind of gets walled by Heracross. And they can just sit and Swords Dance on you. Even if you T-Wave them, you still don't want to tank that Megahorn. Look at this team revealed. What the hell comes in on Megahorn? Nothing. Heracross is crazy. Nice 2001 reference. That's a 
That's a uh, a film enjoyer. Any Kubrick enjoyers in the in the comments? We've got the Flail Gara. This is going to go crazy. He, he better have an E-Speeder. Because if not... I mean... Okay. Forced to sack his Latios. And does have an E-Speeder. Looks like his team is based on... Uh, science fiction stuff. That's fun. Doesn't have Fire Punch, looks like. Goes for Super Pal. Epic Ampharos doesn't click Pursuit. Just attacks in front of him. Works out in his favor. Dodges a Fire Blast in the sun. That was pretty important, actually. That would have been a lot of damage. And HAL 9000 with a last hurrah. Super Epic Ampharos, like in the movie, plugging out all the weird rectangle things, making the computer die. Or whatever happened in that movie. Epic Ampharos is now going through the Stargate. Seeing the entire universe before his eyes. And becoming the evolved form of humanity or whatever the heck happened in that damn movie. It's just a Mewtwo last. Stranger things have happened, but... Yeah. That's going to clean it up. Deoxys attack. That's what you want to finish off. A Mewtwo on 33% health. Thank you, 918, for playing. That was a cool team. And you played well, to be honest. Considering you're up against one of the... Uh, one of the best players in the format, I think you actually did... Had a good showing. Right, we got... Uh, Big William... Has some funny YouTube videos. Has a video with Super Epic Ampharos that I thought was very funny. And uh, ADV Community Gamer. Top Lel, Top Keck. Is a ADV player. Captain of my current ADV League team. The Reggie Runners. Let's go Captain. Let's see some gaming. Oh, that Band HP Fly is just so damn powerful. And what the heck, he did not... Oh, that was so intelligent by Big William. The double to Grudon. On the switch into a flying resist, man. That was proactive. That was intelligent. That was a show of awareness. Latios comes in on the earthquake, however. Ron Flex. Also known as Snorlax, switches in. Curses up. Are we going to protect on a boom? Are we going to be gamers to that extent? We're going to fire blast. We're going to get boomed on. That's all right, I think. I think Zachary Fox is in a is in a good position. This, I mean, the band Ho is just such a threat. Look at him. No flying resist anymore. Metagross gone. He actually likes to trade Metagross for Snorlax because he has band Ho. Ooh. Subs up. Honestly, Metagross was dead anyway. You go out swinging with Explosion. That's fine. You allow in Latios. And all of a sudden... It's an offensive threat. Like the likes of which we've never seen. Ice Beam? Nope. Pivot to Ho-Oh. Honestly? HP Ghost is uh, representative of no Rock Slide. You can run Rock Slide on HP Ghost, but... Usually you see Swords Dance, Thunder Wave, or, you know, something like that. Substitute is also common, so. Pretty astute play there by Big William to go for the Ho-Oh. Get that big band of HP fly hit in, smack Kyogre in the face. Ho-Oh pivots in on the Ice Beam. Not faster. This is dangerous leveled gaming territory. What the heck's going on? I don't know why we're not seeing a thunder come out, but there's, there's levels of mind games happening that are beyond me. 
And Groudon pivots on in the Thunder that time. I think Zachary Fox was trying to be fancy, go ho -oh on the Groudon switch after threatening Thunder, but Top Lel stayed in. And that's a bulky Groudon. This might go out with a bit of a hurrah. Oh, HP goes crit. Was trying to catch a Latias coming in. Got the crit anyway. Ah, oh, tries again. I respect the attempt, but didn't quite land. And I think at this point, Zachary Fox is down to, to sack this Groudon. It's done its job. Oh, Deoxys attack. That's going to clean up, folks. That's going to do it. If that's a choice banded fella. Oh, it's not even. It's probably spell tag. Physical oriented. Top level now knows that he could live, but nope, actually doesn't even live. Spell tag, the extra damage from Shadow Ball. Just smacks him. Well played to Big William. I loved that Groudon double was a great play. From gamer to gamer. When you see a good play, you gotta give you gotta give respect. A couple of Kyogres. We see a T wave come out. And uh You see a lot of the same situations, folks. The Snorlax on the Kyogre, the Fory on the Snorlax. It's like chess. You got the variations, the classical variations, and whatever the hell they call that. Oh geez, this uh Snorlax is getting large. Epic Ampharos was telling me you just curse up in the face of Foratrus, and if you protect on their explosion, all of a sudden, you're in a commanding position. But he didn't explode, he didn't protect, but he did only take 36%. And wow. Dodges pump. Takes pump though. Blows up on Kyogre. Alright, well I think uh, Zack Fox is a Pokemon down, but with three spikes up, I think he's actually at an advantage. Three spikes, uh, and whoa, that just freaking one hits the damn Kyogre. That's not a very bulky Kyogre, evidently. Wobbuffet coming in. Thunder gonna chunk it, and he clicks the wrong move. He did not mirror coat, he encored. It's a 50-50. I think most people encore with Wobbuffet. It feels a bit safer mentally. Click and mirror code feels frightening. Or counter. But. Yeah. Mewtwo coming in. Dodging a mash. Uh oh. That might be game winning. That mash might have been what he needed. Uh, but Mewtwo can tank two of them. Mewtwo is so bulky, you sometimes forget. But yeah, he would have actually been able to get through. Never mind, he blows up anyway, so same difference. Um, so Deoxys threatening superpower. If Deoxys clicks the right buttons, he could get through, but... Nope. Clicks superpower, and all of a sudden Ice Beam threatens both Latios and Deoxys. But he's subbing down to Pattaya. He can threaten Ice Beam and kill Latios, but I think Snorlax can live the superpower now that his attack is nerfed. So Latios goes down here and oh, Trap Pinch for the fans. Quick attack to finish off the Deoxys. Let's go Trap Pinch, man. Are you kidding me? The fans just lost their minds. I'm sorry, coach, but that was epic. What in the world, man? I actually love Trap Inch and Ubers because quick attack is really good. Do you kill Deoxys? If they have no E-speed, I guess you kill Deoxys. That's f awesome. That's great. All right, we got, uh, we got another set up here. These sets have been so fun. These set uh, you guys are doing cool stuff. We've got Feather, Fellow Australian, El Presidente, also known as Mad Dog, captain of my Retro World Cup team, and uh, 
I think, a Gen 3 and Gen 5 gamer. Good player. Elric C, 1v1 gentleman. The face of 1v1, Gen 3. And, uh... YouTuber, gamer, Pokemon connoisseur. Let's see how he does. This is his first foray into Gen 3 Ubers. Let's see how he does. He's got with the classic uh, humorous nicknames. We got the Minty Fresh Latios. Look at the the color scheme. Shiny Latios looking pretty nice. Sacred Fire on the Ho. -Oh. Well done by Mad Dog. Shadow balling down the... Oh, we got the double twins. Comedy gold? Because it's gold. Look at it. It's solid gold. I've never seen shiny... I've never thought about shiny Latias. That's a beautiful shiny. The Lighty twins have some of the best shinies. Anyway, Ho-Oh is uh, absolutely shadow balling these... These fools. Shadow ball, good move. This is why. Latios and Latias are good Pokemon and shadow ball is good against them. This is a lesson in Ubers, folks. Oh, but this... Actually? This Latias, even though it could be hex bait, It's setting up and... Got a good chunk on Lugia. Horo going for the Sacred Fire Burn. Ah, oh, gets toxic. He's crippled. He's... He hates that, but he got the burn. Lugia hates that. Does it, Mad Dog have aromatherapy on his bliss? To circumvent this. Lugia is a defensive behemoth. Absolutely shrugging off the stab sacred fires in the sun. They're doing peanuts. Honestly, LRXC is, even after this burn, it's pretty damn rough getting through this, uh, this Lugia, I have to say. Does he have... He does have Fire Blast. Mad Dog is aware. He scouts for it. He goes, ho -oh. And I think he's got pressure, right? So, Fire Blast PP is a limited resource. And with Shadow Ball, this Latias is not safe to set up and, and break through. He can play for a crit. He can't recover forever. Shadow Ball does too much. It does almost as much as a recover. He can just sit here very comfortably... And go for crits. There's no downside to this. You know, I think we could see LRXC maybe go to Snorlax on a Shadow Ball. Yeah, this is a great position for Mad Dog and... Goes Lugia though. He's sick of it. He's sick of the... He's sick of clicking the same move over and over. He wants a change. He wants a little bit of variety in his life. So he whirlwinds out the Latias. If I was him, I would have stayed there forever. You're denying the Latias from, from healing too much, and you'd bounce to get a crit eventually, but Mad Dog wants to speed it up. He's impatient. He wants to get it over with. And that's fair enough. Sometimes Pokemon can be a bit boring. You sit there play, fishing for crits. If it's me, I'm a safe player. That's what I do, but... If you're in an advantage and they can't stop you then be as boring as you can that's a lesson from jim to to the viewers at home but i think the mad dog still has a great matchup here despite the uh the path he's taken pivots in fortress reflect is up Oh, it gets crit, though. Elric C needed something. And he got it. Crit with the reflect up. Taking out Fori. And ho -Oh, very logical switch into Metagross. It's a bit of an OU situation. Like Moltres coming in. Sacred Fire, very clickable. Although it has low PP, so... And we're back in this situation, and there's the crit. Had to happen, eventually. How many Shadow Balls was that? Almost all of them. More than half of them. I think both of those statements were wrong. It was literally less than half, and not even all of them. But don't listen to me. 
So he's going to go for the burn on the Snorlax. Sensible. Goes Lugia. And, yeah, blow forces a blow up. I've learned that Lugia is, in fact, unkillable. That's true. Yeah, and the ho -Oh was... That's a good evaluation. Yeah, Lugia was unkillable. And ho -Oh, bulky ho -Oh, with Sacred Fire, Shadow Ball, Toxic is so good against... That was a bad matchup for LRXC, I think. It's double Laddies. Both with Dragon Claw. And uh, we got the Sun up. There's no Thunder. This bulky ho -Oh is going to go insane. So that was an unfortunate matchup. Let's see how game two went. The Executioner. Executor seeing some usage, folks. Let's go Sleep Powder. I gotta try out Executor myself. Cool Pokemon. Makes a light screen. Supporting its team. Putting things to sleep. Making light screen. What a Pokemon that is. And Sacred Fire right here would be a great click. Goes for a sub. Sensible. Can't be bad. Oh, goes straight to Latios, though. Uh-oh. That could be sub Carmine Flamethrower. Oh, I think if he had Sacred Fire, he would have clicked it. It's safe. Threatens burn. Oh, what? Dragon Claw crit. 71%. Dragon Claw crit again. He cannot be stopped. He's he's put the action replay into his emerald cartridge. He's, he's hacksing. Oh, the HP Ghost is enormous. Mad Dog, by the way, has some Gen 3 Ubers experienced. I've, pl I've played him a few times. He knows the format. At least a little bit. And LRXC is a first-timer. Trying some cool stuff out. Mad respect. Building your own squads. Rock Slide? Nope. Okay. So... This ho -Oh is pretty good against this Groudon. Went for the Flamethrower. I wonder if he has Toxic. Could have gone for Toxic there. But maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe he has a different thing. Ice Beam crit was was pretty massive. But LRXC, you can't complain. You, you did get two Dragon Claw crits. He's got the action replay installed. Himself. He saw your action replay was in your emerald, and he he installed his own. You gotta fight fire with fire sometimes. Latios successfully pivots into Groudon. Dragon Claw. Look how strong Dragon Claw. That's a resisted move. Still does thirty five percent. Crazy stuff. We got the Salak. Nice pivot from LRXC. Probably going to take this out then. No rock slide. Quell the threat a little bit. Maybe Executor can make this happen. But it's looking rough. Latios is applying a lot of pressure. And honestly, even the, the paralyzed Kyogre. This is a moment of truth. He could boom. He's got this 8% Snorlax though. He can just sack. Oh, he pumps the hollow. -oh. What the heck? So, I think LRXC was trying to double the hollow -oh against this Snorlax. Because he thinks that Mad Dog is going to Snorlax to tank explosion. And then... Mad Dog just stays in like a maniac and pumps the damn hollow. -oh. What in the world? Hoa -oh did have kind of a rough existence though. We got a Latios up. I think Latios just just finishes this one off. Did he two tone solar beam? That was funny. <laughs> Alright guys, last set. This has been a long one. 
You may think I'm insane for... Oh, never mind. That was the last set. Sorry, that was round two. That was my round two set. Okay, that was it. Uh, yeah, LRXC was the last one to play. Mandonic and LRXC. All right. Yeah, I've already played my round two set, so that's what I thought was there. Okay, never mind, folks. Thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot about the format. I think I've uh, I've learned a lot about what's good and what's not. How to build teams. How to the stuff you got to prepare for. And I think a lot of other people, you guys, are learning too. Good luck in the, to all the contestants in round two. Still yet to play your games. Mr. Epic Ampharos has agreed to come in and co-commentate with me for, for round two, and I look forward to it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out the tier list I made with Mr. Ampharos. I didn't make it, actually. It was his list. I just made the video and invited him on. Ubers is fun. Play Ubers. Thank you very much.